Okay, here is the Sony ZV-1 uh, camera and uh, this is what I use to film our pasta uh, each, each Sunday and uh, I use this uh, every week and it works, this camera works great. Uh, I love all the features on it, however all cameras are never perfect and there's always either uh, little flaws or just things that the camera won't do and a few accessories will make this camera turn into a beast and that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you how to take your Sony ZV-1 and turn it into a beast. So the first thing I found out when I purchased this camera and started using it was the position where the uh, tripod was mounted. And where the position where the tripod is mounted on the ZV-1, if you uh, put your regular standard uh, mount on there, you will notice that it blocks the door for the battery. So there is no way you could have this on a tripod and while it's on the tripod, change the battery or change the memory card. So in order to get around this uh, so that we're able to still do it and keep it on a, on a tripod, uh, here's what I did. I purchased what they call the from uh, small rig I purchased from small rig this uh, camera rig for a uh, ZV-1 and this worked perfectly for me and I'm going to show you how to attach it it's very easy to attach you just place it on the camera like that and there's a simple allen key right there you just take the allen key and you just tighten it up get it nice and snug and that's it and now you have a perfect uh, camera rig for your ZV-1 and what this does now if you notice now with all the threaded holes where you can uh, attach the uh, tripod mount you will see that you can put it all the way towards the end and then what will that do is you can see now with the rig you can still open the door very nicely while it's on a tripod remove the battery and remove the uh, SD card so I'm going to attach I'm going to attach the mount that I use I use a quick quick release mount and just simply attach it to the ZV-1 and now you can see with it offset all the way there the door opens nicely very easily. So that's off my first accessory that uh, will help with the ZV-1. So the next thing is a tripod uh, that you could use for vlogging and this tripod I also purchased from small rig and it works perfectly for the ZV-1 there's the tripod and it works perfectly for the ZV-1. So that's the tripod, that's the other accessory that I use with it. Now also this small rig also has other threaded holes where you could attach other accessories. It also has another additional cold shoe mount but when you put the uh, bracket for your tripod over here you see it's blocking the uh, cold shoe mount. So what I've done in order to get around that was I also purchased from Ulanza, let me see if I can get this in focus, from Ulanza a cold shoe that, that attaches to the ZV-1's hot shoe right here on the top. And now you have an area where you can put a uh, uh, light, where you could put a, uh, 
shotgun microphone or any other accessory now you have you've turned this one hot shoe into three cold shoes you've got three of them here now the one I like even better than that because it sort of spreads it out a little bit and for me works better is I also purchased this item also as an accessory from Ulanza, the PT-2. And what this is, is this is also a cold shoe mount that you attach to the, to the ZV-1's uh, hot shoe. And now you have two cold shoes where you could attach uh, accessories to. And I'll go back to that a little bit later and show you the two main accessories that I attached there. So the other issue with the uh, ZV-1 that some vloggers complain about is that the camera is just does not have a very wide angle lens. So especially if you're in steady shot, uh, uh, where you have the stabilization on, it crops the picture and you have a, don't have such a wide picture. So what I've done to solve that is in addition, I also purchased from Ulanza a wide angle lens. Now this is a wide angle lens macro 52 millimeter lens and this works perfectly and I'll show you how we attach that as well. This lens when you purchase it from Ulanza it comes with a, a threaded filter this is typically an adapter for a threaded filter if you was going to attach an ND filter to this camera. That's not necessary because this camera has an internal ND filter. But what you do is when you get this from Ulanza, they explain to you how to do it. You attach the uh, ND filter lens and then the, the, the wide angle lens threads right into that. And what this does is it really widens the view and it's really perfect. When I uh, film our pastor, uh, I usually film him uh, each Sunday at the sanctuary right in front of the pulpit. I could get a good shot of the complete altar, including the pulpit, and, and, with an, and also with a nice uh, blurry background. So this works out uh, perfectly. And especially if you was vlogging, uh, it works out even that, at that much better. Now, the other thing that uh, is an issue with the, uh, the Sony ZV-1 is uh, the, the camera, this camera, like similar to like the uh, Sony 6400, this camera uh, has, has no limit on how long you can uh, take a video. Most uh, DLSRs and mirrorless cameras have a 30 minute uh, limit time. That means that every 30 minutes you have to turn the camera off and turn it back on in order to continue uh, filming. However, this camera will run continuously. But the problem with that is because the battery, and I'll show you the battery, The Sony battery is so small, the Sony battery only lasts about 30 minutes. However, in order to get around that, what you do is, what I do is I use a power bank. Now the power bank I purchased, I purchased from uh, Home Depot. It's the pocket juice. Uh, and this works perfectly and what this does is it attaches via a US, USB cable to USB-C cable and what we do is I take that and when I attach it I attach it to the camera's uh, USB cable uh, USB-C cable, which is this, this, which is this one, right in the center on the side of the camera, and when I turn this 
power bank on, what it does is it uh, powers up the, uh, continues to send power to the camera so that the battery lasts much longer. I can, when I film now with this camera, I could get a good hour and a half, almost two hours of filming uh, as long as I got this power bank attached to it and it, uh, it, works, it works perfectly. So I could really film a long service. I use this camera to film the pastor's message every Sunday. I also use this camera when we have an when we have when we have an outdoor service parking lot service i put this on a tripod and uh typically our outdoor service is about an hour and a half to two hours i could run this camera with that power bank and there's absolutely no issues whatsoever now i'm going to go back to where i had showed you where i had attached the two cold shoes with this uh, attachment and I'm going to show you I'm going to show you why the other two best things that I did now this camera has a fairly good uh, internal microphone that works well but uh, if you're a little bit distance away from the camera it really doesn't uh, work that well and you need an ex external uh, microphone and the external microphone that I use here is a shotgun mic and it just attaches right to the cold shoe and well I'll usually take this and I, I usually do it on the other side excuse me for a second and the reason why I do it on the other side is because the the uh, connections are on this side okay take this and the very first connection at the top is for the microphone and attach the microphone right there and now now I have an excellent microphone that works very 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 well and works well with this camera I've also found that if you're not moving around with the camera and if it's what they call a talking head video and you're working with uh, uh, where the person is stationary the best thing that I found is and it's probably one of the cheapest microphones I use is the Boya uh, lavalier mic and it's the Boyer lavalier mic is the one that I'm utilizing right now and I find that one to have the best tone and to me works the best and it's actually the cheapest microphone that I own uh, I'll after after this video is over I'll have a short uh, uh, PowerPoint presentation where I'll list all of these accessories so that you will know exactly what you need to turn your ZV-1 into a powerhouse and turn it into a beast. Now, I don't have any uh, affiliate uh, marketing accounts uh, right now because this is a brand new channel. I don't have enough views or subscribers just yet. So this will be just all information that I'll be providing for you. And I don't make any money on it. So uh, you could just go to the places where I suggest. And if not, you can, you can find it in, uh, in other areas. But this is basically what I use. Now also, uh, if you're working with this camera and you're being mobile with this camera, moving around and walking around, one of the other solutions that uh, I've come up with rega in regards to the microphone is this, uh, is this uh, Comica Boom XD uh, wireless microphone and this works perfect for me too as well uh, if I'm moving around with my camera and the you just take the transmitter and you slip it right into the cold shoe and then attach the uh, wire and it works perfectly and then this way if I'm doing a uh, wireless where I need a wireless mic a situation where I need a wireless mic I use this Comica Boom XD the last uh, accessory that I use that will turn your camera into a powerhouse is I use this 
I use this Flashpoint uh, FPL CFR1. And the reason why I like this particular video light is that not only can you adjust the brightness and you can adjust the uh, warmness uh, or color of the white light. It's a LED. I'll show you right here. It has a, a removable lens uh, and here's our, all the LEDs and they just the lens just attaches with magnets. And the reason why I like this, why it works out perfectly, because not only is this a white video light, but it also is an RBG, meaning that it will change colors. So if there's a particular color for a scene that you was trying to set, like purple or red or green or blue, uh, you could actually have this light change those colors. And then this simply turns on to this simply goes on to this cold shoe here and now to me you've taken you've taken this you've taken this ZV1 and to me you've turned it into a beast of a camera uh, you've got a great light you've got great audio you've got a great uh, wide uh, angle lens uh, we've solved the We've solved the issue with the uh, the door uh, not not being able to open up the door with the uh, on a tripod, and we've also solved the issue in regards to uh, power that uh, you could have continuous power by utilizing a simple power bank from uh, Home Depot. So there it is. Turning your, turning your ZV-1 into a beast. And uh, I think this will work very, very well for you. And these are the accessories that I recommend highly for this camera. And I use this camera for everything. Uh, I'm going to also, uh, in my next video, share with you the settings that uh, I've set up for this camera to make it simpler for me because there are some settings that need to be set up to make the camera work well. And in addition, I'm also going to be sharing a video on how you could use this ZV-1 as a webcam with, with no capture card, no extra software, uh, Sony has just updated the firmware to this camera where you could use it as a uh, webcam now with absolutely no capture card going directly to your computer. So uh, I will show you how to do that as well and I'll show you the various settings that I think works for me and some tricks that I've learned along the way. Hope you love this camera. I love, hope you love this camera as much as I do. And uh, let's turn your ZV-1 into a beast. Okay, have a great day. Okay, uh, as promised, uh, here's a list of best accessories that I recommend highly for your ZV-1. The very first thing is the uh, small rig cage that I discussed before and uh, this will help you with the uh, problem about uh, when you mount the camera to the tripod that you'll be able to still have access to both the battery and the SD card. Uh, this is the uh, handheld uh, tabletop uh, mini tripod that uh, I recommended uh, for the uh, ZV-1. This is the wide angle lens that I also recommended by Ulanza. Uh, this works out perfectly and really enhances uh, how this camera can be used. This is one of the uh, accessory adapters uh, that you could uh, extend the uh, so that you have the hot shoe mount. You now have two uh, uh, cold shoes where you could attach accessories. This is the other item that I also use uh, which gives you the additional where now you have three cold shoes that you could attach to the ZV-1 camera. This is that Boya mic that I was discussing earlier. This mic is only $20 
and I tell you, I find that this particular microphone, if you're not moving around and the person who's talking is stationary, it comes with a very long extension cord uh, for this microphone. It's a wired uh, lavalier mic, but it works perfectly. And the tone, to me, sounds very professional. If you are moving around and you need a wireless solution, the one that I'm currently using is the Comica Audio Boom XD D1 uh, wireless uh, microphone system. The transmitter work uh, attaches perfectly to the cold shoe, and then you take the other uh, receiving item and you and you have that uh, in the uh, on the person. Or there's also a lavalier mic that you could also use as well. And that works uh, perfectly for a wireless solution. Also, for if you're using a shotgun mic, the shotgun mic I recommend is the Rode uh, Video Mic Go. Uh, to me, it works perfectly as well. Uh, you do have to have the camera sort of close to you in order for the, the, the uh, Shotgun mic to work properly, uh, but if you use any of the lavalier solutions I said before, you could be a, a reasonable distance away from the camera and they still work perfectly. This is the light I recommend. It's by Flashpoint, the R1 round RGB mini creative uh, light. To me, this white light works perfectly. Not only can you adjust the brightness, you can adjust the warmness of the light. And in addition, you can put any color that you want on this light if, you're, if that's a solution that you're looking for. Red, uh, uh, purple, blue, green, whatever color you might need for a situation, this light will provide it for you. And it's a very, very bright light. It charges via a uh, USB cable and it works perfectly. Now, here's where I was discussing before where you can go to the Sony website and you have, uh, you can upgrade the firmware. The firmware could be updated either the Windows version or you could update the firmware via the Mac version, whichever computer you have. And uh, that will turn your ZV-1 into a uh, webcam with absolutely no use of, of any capture card or any additional software. It'll, it'll connect directly via USB to your computer and you can work it as a uh, webcam. Now before you could do that, but the audio wasn't coming through the uh, HDMI cable, but now the audio comes through the USB cable and it works perfectly. So now you've got an idea of all the items I use to turn my ZV-1 into a beast. Now you can do the same with your ZV-1. Again, this is a brand new channel, so uh, I certainly could appreciate if you like this video, if you got something out of this video, to hit the like button. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe to see future videos, please hit the subscription button and uh, hit the bell icon. So next time I uh, post a video, you'll be able to see it. Let's turn your ZV-1 into a beast. I know you could do it. And... I just want to tell you all to have a great day.